trim on top All right. the first thing you need to know is how to move the Walmart clipper so remember at all times you're only going to use half of the blade and the other half that you're not using will always be up off the blade on an angle so on the right side of the head you're going to use the left side of the blade and the right side of the blade is going to be always off the head on an angle so you're going to come up half of the blade always on an angle finish on an angle so your first elevation you will finish like this on an angle on the right side of the head on the left side of the head you're going to use the right side of the blade and the left side of the blade will always be off the head so you're going to come up like that on an angle now far as the levels of the blade being on the head this is considered flat so when you come flat it's going to cut close as you can get it always using half the blade flat mid level is when you raise the blade up midway and you're still only using half the blade but you're coming off the head and that's going to cut leave a little bit more hair on the head and when you raise the blade up high you're going to use half of the blade. When I say high, that means it's going to leave even more hair on the head. So flat is the closest. Mid is leaving a little hair. And high leaving the most amount of hair at whatever level you're cutting. So that's flat, mid, high. And you always use only half of the blade cutting on an angle. On the left side of the head, you use the right side of the blade. And the left side of the blade is off. And on the right side of the head, use the left side of the blade, and the right side of the blade is off the head. You want to start off with your number two guard. So you take your number two guard. Remember, it's all the way open, the lever pull back, longest point, and on the name, front to back. So you're going to come up and let the clipper do the work on an angle. Remember, the side that's down, you're cutting with. The side that you're not cutting with, you keep it up on an angle. And you blend straight up on an angle. That's your first elevation, number two, on an angle. Okay. Now 
on an angle. After that, you make sure you both sides are even. Now, I'm going to take your number three. Put it on, keep your level all the way down and up. And right here, on an angle, you're gonna come straight up in the air. Don't go to the contour of the head. You blend on the angle and pull straight up. You come with the number three, you're gonna come straight up on an angle. See how I get your blend for you? Come straight up on an angle. As long as you keep your angle in there, you come straight up off the head in the air, it's going to blend for you. Three, straight up, blend. Straight up, blend. Now you're going to come on this side, on an angle, straight up. Blend. On an angle, go straight up. Blend right into the top, and everything else you'll blend with the scissors. On an angle. On an angle. Next thing you do is you close the lever now. And just right under that three, between the three and the two, you come from the back towards the front on an angle and blend just right in that area. Get that demarcation out on an angle and just come straight up right there. Blend up on an angle. Keeping the front of the blade up and the cutting side you're using down on an angle. And that clipper blends for you. As long as you keep that angle, and you come flick your wrist straight up on an angle, the clipper will blend for you. On this side, on an angle. Clipper blends for you. Now you're going to go back to your number two. Put it open. Make sure the lever's back open. And you're going to blend slightly just in there to get any little dark glitch out. On an angle. Perpendicular to the head. Keep the clipper perpendicular to the head and blend up. Other side. And then because it's the number two, right here around the edge, you want to get those little frizzies. So now you close the lever, get it closest it can get, and you just blend those little frizzies. Now if those frizzies don't come out when you go to do that, like you want, you go down to a one and a half guard. Take the one and a half guard, put it on, make sure the lever's open, and you blend those little phrases out.
just on the edge on an angle. If you want to go a little closer, you just move the lever halfway and you can go a little closer right there on the edge. Make sure you do everything on an angle. Now, when you get into the top, always remember your scissoring doesn't have to be difficult. Everybody likes to take and put, put the scissors and put the hair in their fingers at an angle and cut out all these crazy cuts. You can make it very simple for yourself. First thing you want to do is you get your, this is the longest point, this is the shortest point. You just want a light trim, so you do a little part here, lift the hair up, and you get your trim cut, and that's your first elevation. Now, this is your lowest elevation, your highest. You start here, you lift the hair up. And you can see where you cut here, and that's excess here. So you lift up, cut the excess. From here, that's your shortest point. Shortest point, excess. That's it. So you lift up, cut, cut, cut. Right, and then from here to here, you shortest point, you blend. From that short point, you cut excess. Short point right there, excess. Short point, excess. Short point, excess. And you do that all around the edges until it blends. Now the hair is pretty much nicely blended. Then you come on this side and do the same thing. That's pretty much how you do it without having to touch the hair. Then you take your thinning shears and then you blend the sides in pretty good with the thinning shears. Pretty much let's take all the dark hair, the bulkiness out, and give your blend a nicer look. And then you hit all the tips. All right. And for the back, you can blend this out pretty simple you start low you close the blade all the way on an angle come up just a pinch on an angle open a quarter on an angle open a quarter on an angle Open up another quarter on an angle. Keeping that blade you're not using up on an angle. Let the blade flip, then get all the way open on an angle. On an angle. And because that's the number two, now you keep doing that. Grab your number one guard. 
and you come up on an angle. And you blend it into the number two on an angle. On an angle. Now you go halfway, you come back down just that, get that dark spot out on an angle. Then you just take the number two and close it and come right into that on an angle. That's how you blend the neck out. Always on an angle, because on an angle, your blends get done for you. If you want to just tape out the sideburns, you just take the number one guard all the way open, and you just do a little slight taper. That's it. Slight taper. And you just follow the natural line, use the straight edge of the blade, come up on a curve, stay close to the natural line, leave the front natural. Come up on an angle curve into the C curve and then come down. Curve. That's it, keep it natural. And then the back, let the straight edge make you line, 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 and then just come into your curve. Keep it natural as you possibly can. We know barbers when they use these clippers, barbers been taught how to use their wrist and flick at angle, uh, use their wrist and flick and use the levers and stuff like that. But if you're not a barber and you have a Walmart clipper, you just use your angles and make the clipper work for you. Let the barbers do what they do, and then you just do what you do. Use your straight edge. Stay natural. Come up with the angle on the curve. And come down on the curve. Keep them on as natural as possible. Everybody's different. Some people like them hard lines, some people don't. You just gotta give people what they want. Let the straight edge make you long. That way you don't have to work. All right, then right here at the bottom, clean up real low with the liners on an angle.
that's pretty much how you do the number two taper natural cut we're gonna conclude with some music by putting his blues back in the barn <laughs>